guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Pretty good one, too, I think. Um, I got all different variety of stuff. Um, some spring, some Easter. I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on the Easter stuff. Um, right now, my store is full of fun little, like, Easter basket stuff, and I just kind of wanted to share that with you. So let's get started. I picked up one more of these. These are great. Um, I like the clear, but they're fantastic for storing all kinds of crafty goodness and keeping everything organized. You could put labels if you're stacking them. They are stackable and they're great. And this has an easy peel lid. Label, sticker. It came right off. So I grabbed one more of those. I don't really, I don't think I will need any more. Um, but I did find these baskets, which are fabulous. Um, I don't know that I would like carry it around as a basket, but what I can use it for is magazines. It would fit. Um, it could be used as a, you know, an Easter basket. I'm keeping next to my chair my stitching projects just to keep everything organized. And I got the navy blue. So I grabbed two of those actually because I think they're perfect. Um, on the basket front, I picked up this color for Sarah for an Easter basket because I think it's a lovely shade of hot pink. These are great Easter baskets, guys, for especially like your tweens or teenagers, young adults, 20-somethings because they're, use you know, they're reusable. This is a nice quality basket. I love the weave and I like the color. So I grabbed that for her. Um, Sarah's, my theme this year for Sarah is going to be like garden theme. I'm going to get her some gardening stuff. So I thought this is perfect. Um, I'll just start over here. I did find a notebook for me. You know, I like these spirals. So I grabbed that just for me, for my, mostly for couponing and YouTube stuff. Um, I had already purchased this for me, but because I decided this is the theme of Sarah's Easter basket, I grabbed her notebook. And it just says, live life in full bloom. And these are from Crown Jewels. And this is 50 sheets, I believe. Maybe 60, but I think it's 50 sheets of lined paper. And they're great. And they have the spiral. So that will go in her Easter basket. We all know my problems with hand towels and coffee. Um, guys, good days start with coffee. It's true. It's true. So I grabbed this for my coffee station. I think I'm just going to lay it out um, because I I have a cream color counter and coffee tends to stain it. So uh, bleach cleaners work great, but if I can lay down a towel while I'm making coffee and whatnot, then this would be perfect because good days start with coffee. Um, or I'll just put it over there, you know, whatever. Just coffee, guys, coffee. Um, I also found, look at that. This one says bloom where you are planted with the bicycle and it's got that teal color in the back. I love it. So I grabbed one of these. I don't have a mitt, but I was also thinking for springtime, a gift for somebody to fill this up with some planter stuff, with some gardening things with you know what mother's day is coming like this would be sweet to fill up as your gift bag baking things i know that's a christmas thing to do but it's beautiful and they had some towels but it was that microfiber stuff that we don't like the other one i found now i will have to keep this one for me and give sarah the other one she's not a fan of the green but i sure the heck am and this one says here comes spring and look at the green on the back like i just want to hang this on my wall it just makes me happy, these colors, guys. Um, and again, mitt be great for gifting, but I love these colors, and I think it just makes me happy to think spring is coming. So I'll keep the one with the green. This one will go in Sarah's um, Easter stuff and all of that. Now, the rest of this is just stuff. I grabbed some of these storage bags. I love them. This size is great. I have some soft-sided things I need to store, and two for a dollar is perfect in my world. These are great for packing, too. If you're like to travel, 
and you're going to somewhere like beachy or camping or somewhere where you're going to get kind of gross or maybe your clothes are going to get damp or more damp or moist these are great for bringing dirty stuff home in your luggage just as a heads up i'm always thinking of travel because i'm actually in the process of planning my next major vacation i will take you know other little trips but my next major vacation is in 2021 we had to push it back a year. It was supposed to go this year, but I'm not too bitter about that. Yes, I am. <laughs> but that's fine. You know, we'll do what we have to do. So, but I'm always thinking like travel stuff. And I'll do some travel things when it gets closer. Um, I picked up this sign. It's, I mean, it's cute enough. I'm not in love with it. But what I really am in love with is this side of it because I think there's a lot of potential here. I don't know what yet. I'm going to think on it, but I feel like I want this sign, something, even like an Easter bunny silhouette or something in white and then distress it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But I liked the shape and it's obviously very Easter, but I didn't care for the sign there. This is a glitter bomb. So there's that. Um, on the glitter balm front, I did pick up these. These do not, it's, it's um, glitter, but it's a thicker glitter. It sheds a little bit. Um, now we've talked about, I'm not a huge fan of the pastels, but I like a little accent. And this is just the perfect amount for me to add somewhere for a little sparkle, but not overly, you know, for Easter. I'm really into jewel tones this year, but I think this is going to be fun. So I just grabbed a bag because I think they're a nice accent and like a basket or a bowl or something just to kind of give you that little sparkle, but nothing too ostentatious, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I picked up these. These are covered in glitter as well, but my plan is to cover these in twine, ribbon, burlap, something to make them a little more earthy to go with my big carrot that I made. So we'll see what happens. I might even be able to spray paint. No, it's foam. I'll do something with them, but that's for crafting as well. Um, same goes with this. These are super cute, but I really just want the shape of the egg and not the glitter. So I grabbed a string of these. There's four of them. Heck, if you got enough, you could do spring on these. And hang them like write the word spring paint them I just got this set for right now but if I feel like I want to do something bigger than just because honestly I think I might just paint them but we'll see but I needed some eggs need <laughs> that's a funny word isn't it I don't need any of this stuff but I wanted it um I grabbed some more sequins this is for one of my cross stitch projects I needed a gold and a green and I don't know how else to buy such a little amount, but it's, it's fine. I'll use them. Um, I grabbed this kit of little chicks because I want to see how this works. And at first I thought you had to like cut out your beaks and stuff, but it is already pre-cut. There's even, guys, there's even eyeballs in here. And they have little bunny ears. Like what? It's a little chick with bunny ears. I'm not exactly 100% sure what this shenanigans is, but it's a pom-pom kit. They're all yellow, but it looks like there's some chicks and bunnies. So maybe, let's open this. It says you can make six. They're all yellow. But they all also have bunny ears. I don't know, there's no direction. So I guess you just do what you want. Just do what you want. But this is the chick set. I will also probably be on the hunt for the bunny set because I just think they're adorable and I really feel like they will be super cute, um, like sitting somewhere because <laughs> they're so tiny. So I grabbed the chicks. I have to hunt for the bunnies, apparently. I found this sign. I like it. I may change out that. And it just says Easter, but look at the little feet. There is glitter on the little feet, but very little. And I'm not anti-glitter. Please don't get that wrong. I love glitter, but I'm feeling very, like I said, jewel Tony this year. But this is like your farmhouse 
decor it says happy and then Easter and I just love it it's adorable so I grab that I'm not doing anything to that sign and the last Easter specific I got was this garland guys this is my jam like you could put people's names on here be my pets I would probably keep out just these darker colors and maybe not the pink and baby blue and yellow but maybe I don't know but these are adorable and they are a fairly big size there's eight felt bunnies and they also have a little tail oh I love this this is probably gonna go in my kitchen but it's like perfect it's perfect and it's a dollar because Easter, I mean, I don't decorate a whole ton, just a little bit. Okay, I grabbed a couple of these. These are Forever Metallic Markers, white, and I'm assuming this is gold. Although I was questioning if it was copper, but it's a metallic. They're just, I use them all the time. And actually, you could take this metallic marker and write somebody's name, or the white one, and write somebody's name on those bunnies. I'm just saying. Especially if you have kids. Um, I picked up these. I've never seen these before and they're in my color jam. Again, I grabbed two to maybe make a little garland to tie in with my wooden beads to kind of give it a more spring feel. Like I can just overlap. I don't know, but there's a fair amount in both of these and I love the colors and they made me happy. Um, so I, I picked them up. They'll go in my craft space. Um, ooh. That's the timer on my oven, but I'm almost done. Um, my Dollar Tree had a pack of the Oreo Most stuff. These are like bigger than the double stuff. And if you didn't know, these are vegan. Now, Sarah's not vegan. She's vegetarian, but these are for her. I will either, let me see when they're best buy. I'm just reading here, kids. Oh yeah, they're best by June. So I may save them for her Easter basket because that is a cute thing. Um, my coworker was over today and her little boy who I got the other puzzle for said, you got me a puzzle. I sure did, you want another one? He said yes, So and he went to dinosaurs. So I found this dinosaur puzzle for him. He's little, he's three. This is perfect, so I'll just take that to work with me. Um, I found Easter guys, Easter basket stuff, these Lego this is as seen on TV, 12 foot of flexible, um, works with Lego, Mega Blocks, and other major brands. And you, they're adhesive. So I grabbed two because there's a lot of little people in my life. I don't need them for myself, but I mean, look at that. Is that not awesome? I know other people have found them before, but this is the first time they've been at my store. Uh, for Sarah Sykes, I got her... The 90s trivia game questions like oh it's in English and Spanish it says in what year was the Lion King released this is in English and Spanish which is really nice um, I have this the game hub is the name of the company but it's a 90s trivia game and she's a 90s child so I grabbed that for her just to have and then I found the last thing is some blind bags this is what I'm saying. Guys, look at all of these. Easter baskets. Now, this is a Polly Pocket. It's not really a blind bag, but look at that cute. It's a little bucket. I don't know what the sand bucket, maybe. And a little doll and a little ring. But come on, those are adorable for Easter baskets. And then for the boys, I have a transformer. And we're going to open these up together one day. We got a transformer. Uh, Stretch Armstrong. Who remembers Stretch Armstrong? Because I sure heck do. And they have a little blind bag of a tiny little Stretch Armstrong. Please. It's a flex finger. So you, I think you like fling it. A flex flinger. I got a Stretch Armstrong blind bag. I got a wall walker. And this is Transformers again. But it's a wall walker. So their hands are sticky. And you don't know which one you're getting, but you can get one of this many. Eight. 
And the last thing is I got another one of these fingerlings because I'm not sure they were different color bags. So I just grabbed one more because I think they're adorable. So yeah, I've been collecting all of these little blind bags because we're going to spend that, some time together soon opening them up and seeing. But I'm telling you, if you've got little people in your life, it is time to get to the Dollar Tree and start scouting out some fun things. Oh, you have a girl that likes some crafts? Like these beads are awesome. Crafty bits. And my store finally has stepped up their little crafty section game. Okay, that is everything. I hope you have a good one and I will talk to you later. Bye.